Welcome Taurus Gemini to your mid-month reading. This reading will be from April 18th through the 23rd. Hope you are doing great out there. Okay, if your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This reading is for your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, and of course for cross watchers. Um, so remember, the reading can be vice versa due to the fact that it is just energy in a general reading. coming out well I love this because it says where I had something lost I'm still I'm now starting to find the increase so there is an increase that is surrounding you at this time so wherever you felt maybe you did feel lost or you felt like you lost out on something um, might felt like you were in the losing end of the game however it is there is definitely an increase coming so a lot of times where there was a tower it causes this inspiration to now you know, change the table around to start increasing um, things around you. So anything that might have felt like it was uncomfortable around you also is now going to increase. So this is talking about friends and colleagues. So if you feel like you had some kind of loss within a friend or colleague or someone that you love um, due to some kind of feeling like, you know, um, they weren't, um, they didn't deserve you. Let's put it this way. You're feeling more deserving now for the things that you feel like, you know, you need. Um, and so if you feel like this person didn't see you for who you are, um, whether it's in a job, maybe you lost the job due to friends and colleagues or however it is, um, there's definitely something more deserving coming towards you um, in the big month. Um, and you do deserve these things. It's going to be some kind of teaching um, lesson going on over here. So I just feel like this was something that needed to be taught. Um, and this is really teaching you that you do deserve more and that you are worth so much more. So if it feels like you had lost some kind of friend or somebody due to, they did not have your best interest at the time. And they were, you know, you showing you that you're the underdog or you're not worth this or that. Um, definitely having this come back around to showing you how much you are worth. Um, no longer playing it safe. So if you felt like you were playing it safe earlier, um, you're definitely taking more risks. So um, you may have not have taken a lot of risks within the situation in the recent past, um, but now it's saying you are definitely not going to do that. There is something that you need to take a risk on, something that needs to be done, um, something that needs to be looked at, um, getting out of this stuck feeling of something not working for me, um, right? So there's some kind of great achievement coming from this teaching and learning process. And that's where the increase is really coming from from the um, loss is that as soon as you have this uh, potential learning ability to learn something, something needs to be learned here um, that's coming right at you, it's going to really make you want to take that risk. And the more you risk things and the more that you're doing things, the more you're going to be learning about the situation and finding that inner peace within yourself. Um, so definitely there is some kind of loving man or loving woman where you felt like Others were not treating you very well. Um, you do have this loving person coming out, um, you know, where there was no, no fun, but it feels like this person is fun. They're energetic. They want to do things with you. Um, it feels like there's more to the situation um, of potential friendship or love relationship over here than there was in the past. It just could be, you know, even getting a new job and you can find that there's this loving person around you who might be teaching you something about the new job. So definitely something that needs to be learned um, within the situation. And really listen to your higher intuition because you are divinely guided by your, your ancestors and by your divine spirits and your higher self. So definitely having this come out. Um, let's just grab a card over here on the deserving really fast because... It's a very interesting card. I love it because it's saying you have so much potential for true love, so much potential for self-love um, and to get to the things that you truly love. Um, and you know this and you can really give this inspiration back to yourself by just keeping yourself balanced and um, keeping yourself in this comfortable uh, kind of space of knowing, um, you know, that this, you know, can happen. I'm um, having this teacher or this teaching or something that you're learning or actually being taught by this person um, might even be your higher self being up here by your spirit guides um, your higher self take it how it resonates you'll know what it is 
um, it's going to really lift the veil of what is fruitful around you and really keeping you optimistic about the situation at hand. Um, so as this increase is coming, it's showing an increase of self-love, of what you deserve along with other things that the universe is really bringing to you. Um, oh, there it is, increase. <laughs> as you are taking the risk and actually making that leap of faith, it's going to bring the increase. And now we know where the increase is coming from. So it's saying you're going to have the increase in, in friends, families, colleagues, work, all these things and people around you. Um, speaking, uh, you know, communication, all these things. Um, so where you felt like you might have lost something, you're definitely now taking the risk to go increase that. Um, and having this risk is where it's going to allow you to get out of the stuck energy and really discover the diamond mine over here. So really learning is going to open up this potential to discover something. So now you're learning something and discovering this new potential around you. And this is going to feel like the shiny diamond. It really feels like this loving woman or this loving man who is then going to be placed within your life. Um, and this is going to bring in the, the great achievements um, where there was decrease. So now we see where the decrease is really kind of, and the loss is really kind of coming in um, because the loss is going to be the gain and the increase. So it feels like where the great achievements were on a decrease. Now they're going to be on that upcrease. Uh, the, upscale of increase, excuse me. Um, finding the peace within yourself gets rid of any hidden masks or anything that you might have felt like, um, you know, you didn't deserve or somebody was trying to falsely be your friend or your, your loved one or, or, you know, falsifying information and making you feel like maybe even like you want to hide out a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes um, our insecurities or our anxieties make us hide out. Um, so, you know, you have this, this feeling like, well, I don't have to hide behind the curtain anymore. I don't need to hide out, um, from anything because now I feel whole again. Um, so, and it's not truly really 100% really hiding out. It just might mean that you're not intermixing, uh, with, you know, people at this time. So kind of hermiting in the situations, or maybe you just wait quiet. Um, however that is. Um, and it definitely is because somebody has hurt you over here or something has gone definitely wrong, um, <laughs> no matter what, um, with this. Um, but I feel like this loving woman or man or whoever this might be is a more of a feminine energy coming through. It doesn't have to be a woman, but it's definitely making you feel like you are um, whole again. So where you felt like you weren't really having any fun, you're going to find that this person is going to, you know, allow you to feel more free again, allow the fun to come out um, as they're putting their energy out there and you're really, you know, getting that energy back. For some of you, it might not even be a person. Oh my gosh, for some of you, it could even be you getting a dog or a cat, um, which is going to make you feel whole again. That's very interesting. So your new friend could actually be your new dog. Yeah. Huh? just needing some kind of companionship, needing something to fill um, the loss with. Um, so that could be a possibility. A new job could also, like I said, be a new friend or colleague at work. Because you've got man's best friend and we got friends over here. So I'm thinking it could be cat, dog, something of this, some kind of animal as well. Um, where you felt like you didn't have the new beginnings because it's not really bringing in a whole new 100% beginning. It's kind of bringing closure to a situation. Then it will bring the new beginning. So the new beginning hasn't really 100% just now taken place. It's not really going to take just place just yet because you're still trying to find closure. Okay, we have to have closure before we can have a new beginning. And this is because you have to let it go. So to re really get to the joyous fun that you're really looking for, you really have to let go of the situation so that you can, um, well, for some of you, you might have actually lost an animal. Huh. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Someone has just lost their best, what they felt like was their best friend. It could be a cat, it could be a dog, an animal. And you're trying to find closure as you're letting go of your animal. See, it feels like you're getting, you're going to be receiving or getting a new animal or somebody. 
because you have lost an animal and you're trying to let that leash go. You're trying to let that heart go. But you have to find the closure of the loss within the animal. Remember, if it's not your story, just throw it away. But it's definitely meant for somebody, guys. I have to bring it up because there's somebody really in pain over here, um, over an animal. And I'm feeling this animal. And they're having a hard time letting go. They can't find the closure. They've had this animal a long time. Maybe it's the loving woman who's giving them the animal. Or a loving man. Hmm. But you're going to find this closure. Because it just feels like right now your life has just got a hole in it. So, and then you have the families, the guides, and then this is very interesting. This animal is like literally, I, I just have to stay here for just one second, guys. I know it's not for everybody, but this animal is literally around you. Like their soul is literally around you. And it's almost like, it feels like it's almost like being pulled to, you know, staying around you to get maybe this new animal. But definitely with the family, friends, and guys, I feel this animal is still, their spirit is still around you. Okay. For others of you, just going back to that, you just have to let go of the situation and then allow this person to come through. And then you will really have the closure where this person is really helping you. Um, and just remember that you still have your family guides and friends around you, your ancestors, families, and, and spirit guides, um, who is very supportive of this situation. And really kind of pushing, I feel like they're pushing this person kind of into your life or pushing this pet into your life, or however that is. Really watching you and guiding you. And they do travel back and forth, back and forth. See, they're traveling back and forth, back and forth. See that? They're traveling back and forth between the realms. But they are definitely pushing this, whatever this, whatever this, whether it's an animal or this person to give you this animal or pushing this animal towards you or pushing you towards going to get this loving animal, however it is, because um, I'm really feeling two different things. Um, however it is, your guides are really the ones doing it. I see these bubbles here too. It's almost like, see, I, I'm talking to you. Hmm. So you could definitely have this back and forth of where they're actually moving in between realms over here, between helping you and doing what they're supposed to do, coming back and forth. So I'm getting a couple cards over here. Really feeling like the healthy, there's this healthiness between you and the guides um, and also you and your higher self and really bringing this, this unity to you um, to make you understand that you are going to discover this new potential um, diamond over here and really having that, um, you know, because of all the drama and it could be internal drama that you are dealing with as, you know, you're trying your hardest to pull you out of the, um, you know, out of the decrease and the loss um, of what's going on within yourself and really trying to balance that out. Because right now I, I see the, a lot of imbalance within this is like sometimes I feel really good, but I'm really carrying this weight around my shoulders. Um, and so you're, it's almost like you're trying your hardest to make good decisions and really look out there and really finding this increase. And, you know, when you... When you make this leap of faith, um, you know, to go do whatever this is, right? Um, you're going to find that there's more decisions and more increase. But yes, you definitely have to bring this to some kind of closure where you really feel like, you know, I'm trying to make this new beginning. I'm really trying to do what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm having a really hard time, um, you know, because this loss is a lot. And it, there's the loss again, my friends. 
So it could be even, like I said, a loss of job as well. And then maybe somebody's going to come in and give you a new job. Um, a loss of money, something of this nature as well. Um, but definitely having this loss is like you're going to be looking at it from a different perspective as you're really progressing and moving forward. And this is because you're going to make that leap of faith in saying, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to, there's the traveler. I am going to go with this traveler. I am going to take this dog or this animal from this traveler. They're offering me this, or I'm going to travel towards this to the shelter, go get a new dog, because for some reason, I feel guided to need to do so. Something in your intuition is like poking on you, saying you need to do this, or this loving person is coming towards you, and you're saying, hey, would you like to go out on a date or do something or take this job or something? But no matter what, you feel like you're being guided in the right direction. And yeah, you probably have this kind of back and forth, you know, um, of even yourself. Um, we kind of see it here with the Two of Pentacles as being a little bit maybe even impatient to patience to I don't know, to just kind of this fluctuating energy of not, you know, knowing which way to really turn. Um, but you know... There will be something very justified and very balanced once you run into this person. So making this leap of faith is the first. That's where the increase is going to come in. And you just actually doing so is going to change. And yeah, it's going to change everything around. It's going to make you feel like you're back in the authority and back in place where you need to be. Um, and yeah, and really feeling like you can communicate with the situation. If you are looking for a new job because you had problems with colleagues or however... It's going to allow you to, um, you know, have better communication with authority, um, feeling like you're just pretty much just back into the place of where you feel comfortable and you feel like you're open enough now to actually speak of the things that are going on. So your, your communication is even much better. Like I said before, you might have been a little quiet, um, you know, and kind of keeping things together because of emotional imbalance. So feeling a little better. Um, and this... The guides are here to help with your emotional balance, um, imbalance over here. So definitely not focusing on the pain and the heartache as much as this new area of your life is starting to come in. Of course, you'll never forget. And of course, you're still going to have somewhat of a hole in your heart always, especially if you actually lost, if you actually lost a loved one, a living being. Um, if it's just a job, maybe it doesn't make just 100% the way it did before. So maybe you still feel a little lost, but you're not as focused and you're more focused on now finally getting that joyous fun back into your life and feeling, you know, like there was a blessing and maybe there's even going to be a reason inside that something about this animal might even remind you of your old animal. There might be something there, um, that they do something a little quirky and it's going to kind of raise an eyebrow and say, Oh, you do that just like my other cat did or my other dog did or something. Something that feels like a blessing and feels like it's actually divinely done. Uh, something that's going to really spark the intuition um, to really make you um, just kind of think about the situation. And definitely thinking about the situation because you're going to kind of be stuck within your mind for a second going, what is this? <laughs> right? What is this magic? What is this? Um, but it is all good. And it's going to make you feel... Like I said, like you're more whole again. It's just going to take some time. You just def definitely have to have some healing going on within this situation because, you know, nothing like this can just go away right away. Um, this is going to be a healing process. So anything that you feel like um, you just, you know, you lost someone that was very close to you and you know maybe you had to let them go or maybe they let go, um, just remember that somebody else, you know, Spirit likes to put other people into our lives as long as we allow or as long as we make effort to doing so. We don't have to be alone. Okay. So very beautiful reading, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.